This is easily the best patch Escape from Tarkov has ever put out hands down, and that's not just from the new recoil, it's not from the new movement, it's not from the inertia nerf, it's not from the new maps, and it's not even from the secret work against cheaters and anti-cheat development, which we'll get into in a minute. But it is, of course, everything. If you're not already in the know, then jump on and check it out for yourself, or you can come by my stream tonight where I will have Twitch drops activated for 12 full hours. It's the best place to have a conversation as it's live back and forth, so feel free to come by and chat. As long as you're in my stream, you'll get a full set of of drops i'm live from 6 p.m est to tomorrow 6 a.m est and i will hand you guys off to somebody else who has drops as well on that note of drops it's my opinion that having them be too good or too often or found in raid is detrimental to the economy early wipe while these have been very good this year especially since if you don't actually do anything you're just keeping a tab open on your computer or mobile device so in case you guys are confused make sure to check out your inventory on twitch and make sure that you are getting those legendary and rare drops the common ones yeah not too fantastic might be good Good for your hideout might be good for a barter here and there but the legendary and the rares should be for sure good again link on the screen and in the description if you want to come by and try and get some for yourself so going back to today's main topic we have the new recoil which has made every single weapon understandable to control with their unique recoil patterns there are absolutely some who outperform others but i think the true key right now is to try and get used to every gun on semi-auto and pistols have a great place in the meta right now so do not be afraid to run them if you are down or just want to have some fun they are very snappy and those nine mil will get you and if you're next to somebody remember the new armor hitboxes go for the thorax under the arm especially if they're wearing a helmet speaking of those changes the new armor hitbox changes were significant in case you didn't know there is no more blunt damage unless you get shot in the head because concussions and whatnot maybe if we actually end up do getting that unconscious state system that will be replaced so when you get shot in the armor and it stops all you lose is a bit of durability and not health if it bypasses the armor then then, then of course it's gonna, gonna go places where you don't want bullets to go so depending on how you are facing your target and what kinds of plates you have there or armor you may be invincible or roadkill something to pay attention to whether your armor has a back plate or not as some don't and that is even if you buy it from traders also if rigs don't have plates at all you want to watch out for what you're buying you're basically just buying expensive shirts there and that would definitely be on the flea lots of scams on the flea right now some could even be level three for what's known to be level five or six again lots of scams on the flea market be careful what you're buying on the flea market you can inspect them before you buy them on top of that though no matter where you buy armor inspect it and check it out same goes for what players are wearing when you do loot them as we're seeing level five or level six carassas right now which are supposed to be level three of course so if you drop somebody make sure you check what they're wearing and don't just go by what that vest or rig is actually check the plates themselves the btr on streets does not have have the 30 millimeter cannon i'm gonna go ahead and assume that they are going to plan to add it once they add rpgs and things that we can use in order to take it out but for now it does have a 762 millimeter machine gun that opens up when people buy the fire support option so best just stay down if you hear it coming if it sits in the same spot for a long time you can try to get out into it and have it drop some task items into your hideout for you so it can obviously be very handy for you as long as you make sure that you have cash on you and that you're being careful there was a noticeable tweak to movement and inertia i don't know what they did or if it's just the new settings that we're all getting used to but it seems much cleaner for now so if that was something that you were a big stickler on again come back and check it out the shoreline rework is fantastic the map flows much better but the spawns can still screw you over when playing solo i've already put some feedback into bsg but they're on a bit of a break right now hopefully they can do something about the spawns soon to help with that i would do everything that you can to start playing with groups of two to three people as soon as possible two guns are better than one three is better than two and so on same goes for sets of eyes something to help with that is the the discord which you'll find link below if you're interested we have a good lfg on there last topic for today is something bsg have decided they will not comment on so i have to go to some spies that we have out there so something that's proven to be pretty useful over the years is having a network of spies informants and rats throughout the cheater community so that we can find out information like this the word on the street is bsg pushed one of the largest band waves in recent history on new year's eve in a way that they have never done before in order to confuse cheat developers on what was the cause of the detection, meaning how BSG knew somebody was cheating. There's been numerous additions to server side checks, including loose loot. One of my sources specifically said, let's just say BSG have been on a roll lately, especially with this wipe. Now, that being said, I am relatively certain that I've ran into two cheaters with aimbot before the ban wave hit two days ago. So they're still out there and we'll see if anybody made it through. I also assume the war continues as the developers will find ways to get through where they can. Until then, I think we'll just enjoy this as much as we can and just know that BSG 
PSG are working on this, but they have chosen to not talk about it as they do with lots of different things. So we'll have to wait and see if PSG posts the numbers on that ban wave because apparently it's massive. Remember, again, if you want some free stuff just for keeping a tab open, then come by the stream tonight. Links on the screen and in the description. We won't have long to wait until our next update as there's now not only the base game to look forward to, but also Arena, which in case you guys didn't know, a lot of things are going to be happening with Arena in Q1 of 2024, of which we are now in. However, PSG are going to take a much needed vacation at some point, either this week or next, if they're not already doing it. But I will do what I can to keep you guys in the know on everything as several players around the world are getting into the end game where they will get to see what's new with Lightkeeper. Reminder, Lightkeeper services are part of this patch and BSG did keep those secret. Wow, some of the things we did know about where you can hire Zirachi, you can hire the rogues to help you out, and you can even become friendly with cultists. We'll have to wait and see what else there is. Until then, to get the minute by minute news, follow me on Twitter, join the Discord, both linked below. To support what I do, click the buttons on the screen, check out my other channels for other games right here. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a nice day. See you guys.